One of the best things about being a blockchain developer is that there's so many different ways to make money with these skills. You know, you can get a job, you can become a freelancer, but there's all types of different ways you can make money with this because you have open access to a brand new financial ecosystem where you can do things like earn passive income in ways that other people can't. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five ways to make money as a blockchain developer, you know, as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So, and I've done most of the things I'm talking about in this video. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything I'm talking about in this video, I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish and increase your earning potential well past 100K over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about the top five ways to make money as a blockchain developer. So I'm going to group these into two different categories. One is going to be active income and the other is going to be passive income. Okay, so that's kind of self-explanatory, but basically active is where you're actively spending your time and you get compensated for that active time that you're working. Now, passive is basically where you're going to be doing something, but then the actual income earning can happen, you know, while you sleep. You're not having to stare at a computer screen. So I'll start with the active and then go to the passive. So way number one is definitely the most obvious and an active way to earn money as a blockchain developer, and that's just to get a blockchain developer job. Now, this is a great option and the best one for most people because, you know, it's one of the highest paying fields in tech with an average salary of roughly $150,000 per year. It's time to record this video. Now, of course, that's with somebody with some experience, but, you know, beginners can still make pretty close to $100,000 per year and exceed that, you know, within just a few months time. There's lots of other benefits, like, of course, blockchain is incredibly exciting technology with a ton of upside growth potential. It's incredibly remote friendly, so you can often work from wherever you want. You don't actually have to go into an office. And it's like being a web developer in the early days of the internet. I mean, imagine if you've just gone back in time and started at an early internet company like PayPal, Imagine what the possibilities would have been. So what do you do as a blockchain developer? Well, of course, you're creating smart contracts for the blockchain. You're doing things like writing apps that talk to those smart contracts, you know, websites, mobile applications, wallets, creating blockchain infrastructure. And of course, there's lots of other things you can do, but that's going to cover a vast majority of the use cases. So way number two to earn money as a blockchain developer is also active income. And it's kind of like getting a job, but it's slightly different, which is to become a freelancer. Okay. So obviously this is basically, you know, working on different projects where you're not a full-time employee. Uh, you can work on multiple projects at a time, or you could just be a long-term independent contractor for a team. Maybe there's staff augmentation or something like that, but it doesn't have all the same, you know, responsibilities that a full-time employee does. Okay. And there's a lot of benefits with that. All right. You know, while being a, a full-time developer at a company, you know, you can work remotely, you can do that as a freelancer, but you have this beauty of being able to control your own schedule, okay? So you can often work, you know, whenever you want, as long as that working arrangement uh, is is favorable for your, you know, clients. There's lots of other great benefits, like you can often earn more per hour as a freelancer for the actual time work. It's pretty common for good blockchain and freelancers to make at least $100 an hour, even two or $300 per hour. You know, I was a freelancer when I got into blockchain, and, you know, I got to the point where I was charging $25,000 per week or over $1,000 per hour. And the other big benefit of this is it's a great strategy for beginners because, you know, you can get in with a lower risk uh, to work on a smaller project that only maybe lasts a few weeks or even a few months. Get that experience under your belt and then you can raise your rates and continue being a freelancer or you can use that as experience to get a full-time job as a blockchain developer. All right, so way number three starts the passive income strategies, okay? And this is going to be with, you know, automating income earning with bots on the blockchain, okay? And there's all different types of bots. I'm kind of lumping these all in the same category. So, well, first of all, let's start off with what enables most of these bots in the first place, which is flash loans, okay? So if you've watched any of my videos before, you might've heard about this concept, but basically a flash loan is a technique that you can only do as a blockchain developer. You can't do it in the traditional financial ecosystem and you can't do it if you're not a developer. So basically, it's where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. And you can use that for things like DeFi, trading, uh, which we'll talk about here in a second. So what are some use cases for this? Well, arbitrage trading for sure, where basically uh, you can buy cryptocurrency on one exchange and sell on a different exchange for a profit. Um, and then you're using the flash loans so that you don't even have to own the cryptocurrency when you're buying and selling to do that arbitrage trade. Okay. 
Uh, you can also use flash loans for things like uh, DeFi liquidations. So there's lots of loans out there uh, on the blockchain, okay, that have you know not been paid back, and they're they're decentralized protocols, so anybody can help pay back those loans, and you can use flash loans uh, to facilitate that process and get in the process. You can also use uh, this for things like uh, sniping bots, okay? So whenever new cryptocurrencies hit decentralized exchanges, new liquidity pairs are created, you often see these tokens, you know, pump like crazy within the first, you know, minute that they're listed. And you can create a sniping bot to basically go in and buy the cryptocurrency uh, before it blows up, all right? You can also use flash loans for things like uh, MEV bots, particularly with uh, sandwich bots. Now, I don't recommend this because sandwiching is unethical in my opinion, also probably illegal depending on who you ask, but basically you see this where uh, people are trying to buy coins on a decentralized exchange and you monitor the mempool and you buy before them and sell after them. They get less tokens and you get a small profit for doing this. Uh, you can also use flash loans for uh, leveraged yield farming. So if you go to a yield farm, you can basically increase the amount of money that you're depositing and then borrow the capital on the other side to pay back the flash loan. And you can increase your AP APYs that you're earning in yield by, you know, a factor of two, five, ten, depending on the right strategy. Okay. And then finally, uh, another type of bot, which doesn't use flash loans. Okay. But it's still a way to make passive income as a blockchain developer is through algorithmic trading. Okay. Where basically, uh, you're using quantitative methods to analyze, you know, trading activity on an asset, any cryptocurrency, and then you're making buys and sells, uh, even maybe even with some leverage in order to uh, make some profit that way by going long or short. All right, so way number four uh, is definitely an active income earning strategy initially, but has the potential for quite a bit of passive income on the back end of side, and the back end of the side, which is building your own blockchain-based application. Okay, so I've done this uh, lots. I've helped lots of other people do this as well. Worked with several of my students through my blockchain mentorship who have launched blockchain apps and businesses, okay? Take it to market, get users, get investors if you need to, and grow in Web3. So what kind of blockchain applications can you create? Uh, well, we're just scratching the surface for what you can do with blockchain technology, but a vast majority of the use case is going to fall under the decentralized finance or DeFi sector, okay? Basically, how can you use cryptocurrency to do things like, you know, pay for things, uh, trade, borrow, lend, crowdfund, all that type of stuff. And then what can you do with non-fungible tokens or NFTs, okay? And again, this goes way beyond just digital pictures on a blockchain. Uh, we're talking about ownership of real-world items and modeling that ownership and transferring it on the blockchain, things like real estate, intellectual property, art, collectibles, consumer goods, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so most of the businesses that you're probably going to want to create are where the actual demand is, is now, unless you're a very experienced seasoned entrepreneur, uh, you want to go where the demand is now, and most of the business ideas are going to fall into those two use cases. All right, so the last way to make money as a blockchain developer is with trading, okay? Now, obviously, you don't have to be a developer in order to be a crypto trader of any kind, uh, but you can definitely get an edge as a blockchain developer. And so how can you do that, and what are some different ways? Well, one is definitely going to be with quantitative trading, all right? That's different from another type we'll talk about in a minute. But basically, we're talking about algorithmic trading. So we can use bots, like I talked about before, to do this. We are creating your own trading algorithms. You're backtesting them, and you are applying those to the current market conditions to see how can I make a profit, either in a bull market or a bear market. Do I need to go long? Do I need to go short? On what time frame? How much leverage should I use, or any if all? And you know, basically having the coding skills in order to implement your own strategies, because that's what you need to do as a quant is create your own strategies because if everybody else is using the exact same thing, uh, the model is not going to work as well. So the other way that you can, you know, use your blockchain development skills to become a better trader than most people is through a uh, qualitative based trading, where basically you're doing more subjective type of work. You're selecting projects, you're researching them, you're looking at different narratives inside of crypto, new sectors of technology that can emerge, and basically making bets on those particular projects. So how can you get an edge over other people? Because normal people can do this too. All right, well, number one is you'll be a power user of the blockchain. So you'll be able to essentially weed out projects that have empty promises. You'll be able to understand exactly what's possible with the technology and what's not, and be able to value what they're gonna do based on the information. Now, not that that necessarily even matters in a bull market necessarily, but you know, 
that's still a helpful edge for you to have as a developer. Now, you'll also be able to read code, which is critical, okay? So this is going to help you avoid any malicious projects on chain uh, that could be rug pulls. If, for example, you don't want to buy a coin that you can't actually sell or has some ability for them to charge you excessive taxes or drain all their money from your wallet. Um, you can also do things like automate the process of finding new projects, you know, with uh, liquidity pairs on chain. You can monitor new liquidity pools, get alerts about them to basically analyze these faster. Uh, you can also do things like buy some of these projects a lot earlier with sniping bots. You can set your own rules for limit orders on chain, things like that. Now, that being said, I put trading at the last of the list because this is by far the riskiest one. All right. Uh, because what I always say is, you know, trading is like a full time job that you can lose money at. And for most people, by far the first option that I talked about, where basically, you know, getting changing your career and becoming a blockchain developer is going to be the best way to do that uh, and working in the field because you increase your income most likely from wherever you're starting now and probably significantly, okay? Because you can fix your cash flow problem. You can use that to invest in crypto, whatever you do, obviously not financial advice, but you can create an income stream for yourself for life uh, where you basically are in on a new technology early. You can work remotely from wherever you want, you know, building the future of the internet. All right, so those are the five top ways to make money as a blockchain developer. So did I miss any? If you have something that I didn't talk about in this video today, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. And whenever you're finished, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything I'm talking about in this video today, I can show you how to become a blockchain master and increase your income well past 100K by stacking these different methods. You can use one, you can do all of them. You can make multiple, multiple six figures if you really hustle. So I can show you how to do that step-by-step step start to finish over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. The next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.